Welcome to class. My name is Elizabeth Hodge and I'll be your professor this semester. I'd like to go ahead and give you a tour of the class platform so that you can become familiar with many of the tools that will be available to you. To begin with, when you log into Blackboard, you'll see um, you'll go directly to the announcements page as seen before you. On the left hand panel, you can see that there are links that will take you to different locations within the Blackboard course. To begin with, when you click on course information, you'll see that the syllabus, calendar, um, and other helpful documents will be listed within this area. If we were to click on the syllabi, it'll bring up a PDF document. So if you'd like to print, you can do so. But the main thing that many students want to know are what are the course requirements. So as you can see here, um, you have several course requirements. You have to complete the Apple Book Review, the ECU Conceptual Framework, the Upper Division Essay, and the Disposition Form A, all of which are located within TaskStream. The main component of this course is for you to complete observations. You'll be completing both on-site school observation as well as uh, video observations for a total of eight observations. You'll also be completing a context for learning, the observation protocol, and then the secondary IELTS modules. The third component is the overall practicum reflection essay along with the final exam. When we move back to the course environment, we can click on the tentative course calendar. Again, this will bring up the course calendar for the entire semester. I do say that it's tentative, but for the most, far, most part, all of the dates and information that's included within the course calendar should be um, up to date without needing change. Let's just take a look at the first module to give you an idea of what the calendar includes. You can see that under the date area, it indicates the time frame for the module in which it will be released. Um, and then the ending point. So for module one, it begins August 24th and runs to September 7th. Then you can see the information that's contained, some of the readings as well as the outcomes. And as you'll know, under objectives and outcomes, it's listed all of the activities that you're to complete during that time frame. So for module one, there's quite a few just because it's the introductory module, but then again, you also have a great deal of time to complete it. Um, you'll sign into class, you'll set up a task stream account, you'll complete your practicum request, request form, um, the disposition A, the conceptual framework, and the list goes on and on. The one thing that I do wanna point out here is the video sessions. Um, for the first four modules, you will be attending a synchronous session um, during that time frame. You can see that the dates are listed, as well as the two different options for you, atten for you to attend. You can either attend an evening one-hour session or the morning um, one-hour session. So you want to make note of that um, and, and make sure you have plans to attend. Moving back. Um, underneath the course information is a link that says start here. This link will take you to some information that's going to ask you to complete a very brief assessment. This will allow me to gauge your instructional knowledge. Once you've completed that, you can move to the course modules. You can see here that you have six modules throughout the entire semester. You're not going to be able to see all, all of those. Um, they are released based on um, the dates indicated in the course calendar. But let's just briefly take a look at module one. So when we move into module one, you can see that it's got an overview of the um, outcomes that are required during that time period. You have a link to sign up to attend the video session, and then you have a three, two, one ticket out. That'll be explained once you get into the actual as you can see, you've got um, several tasks to read through, and it will give you an overview of everything um, that's required during the module. When you see that there's a click here, that means when you click on it, it's going to actually open up another document that you'll be required to complete. Again, moving through the module, 
I mentioned that not only will you be using Blackboard, but you're also using TaskStream to upload many of your documents. This is for the teacher education um, program. So you'll be doing that throughout your entire um, teacher ed career. You'll be using TaskStream to upload different documents to the portfolio. So you'll enroll or create an account with TaskStream. And then you'll have access to the Sale Business Information Technologies folder. And then again, as I mentioned, um, all of the other activities that you're to complete during the module, again, you click on them, it links and opens up a new window so that you can access that information. Beneath the course modules, you see the tool area. Within the tools, you have access to announcements, um, any help um, for Blackboard, the discussion forums, and in particular, the My Grades area. I would suggest that you um, check back and check on your grades. I do provide feedback on all assignments, um, so it's important that you review your feedback prior to moving on to the, to the next assignment in a module so that you can make improvements. You also have access to sending me email. Of course, I've provided my contact information within this link, along with my office hours and how you can get a hold of me. As you can see, we will be meeting September 1st or sep September 2nd, depending upon which session you attend. This is a video uh, conferencing session using Saba, and I have provided directions so that you understand how to connect um, to the platform. But if you have any questions prior to our meeting in September, certainly don't hesitate to call me, um, stop by my office, or send me an email. I look forward to a great semester.